Hello and welcome to today's video, where we will be discussing the process of forensic fingerprint collection. Fingerprints are one of the most commonly used forms of physical evidence in forensic investigations, and the proper collection and preservation of these prints can be crucial in determining the outcome of a case. So let's dive into the process of collecting fingerprints in a forensic setting. Step 1. Scene Preservation the first step in collecting fingerprints is to preserve the scene. This means making sure that no one, including law enforcement, touch anything that could potentially contain fingerprints. If possible, the scene should be secured and taped off to prevent contamination. Step 2. Identification of potential prints. Once the scene has been secured, the next step is to identify any potential sources of fingerprints. This can include door handles, windows, light switches, and any other objects that may have come into contact with the suspect. Step 3. Collection of Prints There are several techniques that can be used to collect fingerprints, including Dusting. This involves using a fine powder, such as talcum powder or graphite, to coat the surface where the fingerprints are suspected to be. The powder sticks to the oils left behind by the fingers and makes the prints visible. Tape Lifting this method involves using clear tape to lift the fingerprints off of the surface. The tape is placed onto the powder-coated surface, and then lifted off, taking the fingerprints with it. Cyanoacrylate fuming. This is a chemical process that involves heating a substance called cyanoacrylate, which produces fumes that adhere to the fingerprints and make them visible. Step 4. Preservation of Prints Once the fingerprints have been collected, they need to be preserved to ensure that they remain visible and usable as evidence. This can be done by placing the prints onto a clear sheet of plastic, such as a lift tape, or by using a method called photography, where the prints are photographed using a specialized camera. Step 5. Comparison and Analysis The final step in the process of collecting fingerprints is to compare and analyze the prints. This is typically done by a forensic examiner who will compare the collected fingerprints to known prints, such as those in a database, to determine if they match. Closing. In conclusion, the proper collection and preservation of fingerprints is a crucial part of forensic investigations. By following these steps, law enforcement can ensure that the fingerprints they collect are usable as evidence in court. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video on forensic fingerprint collection. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on forensic science and investigations.